first after five years, a $30 million budget shortfall, and evidence of financial fraud. The Sweetwater Union High School District Superintendent is out. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. The school board voted to terminate Dr. Karen Janney's employment Monday night. As our ABC tennis reporter Laura Acevedo shows us, those who work closely with the district say this termination won't solve their ongoing financial troubles. The district's problems, financial primarily, um, you know, were under her watch. After more than five years as Sweetwater Superintendent, Dr. Karen Janney is out. The district spokesperson confirming in a statement that the Board of Trustees provided Dr. Janney a 90-day notice to end her employment agreement. It's not going to make the problems go away by firing the superintendent. Nick Marenovich was the chair of Sweetwater's Bond Oversight Committee for eight years. He says he knew there was trouble. Over time, the district began to ignore our request for information and uh, really do deal with the issues that we'd identified. He says he knew there was trouble years ago, bringing his concerns to the board's attention. The district's latest troubles began in 2018 when they self-reported a $30 million budget shortfall. Since then, teachers were laid off, bus routes cut, and class sizes increased. In June, a state audit found there was significant evidence of fraud and misappropriation of funds. And they blew us off the last two years I was on the committee. You know, we were asking a lot of questions and they didn't want to hear about it. ABC 10 News obtained Dr. Janney's employment contracts. In 2015, she started at the district making $235,000 a year. In 2017, her contract was amended and her annual salary increased to nearly $255,000. Per her contract, Dr. Janney will receive her salary for 90 days since being notified of termination. That that adds up to roughly $63,000. Marinovich doesn't think the superintendent's termination will be the end of Sweetwater's problems. I mean, there are five trustees that make the ultimate decisions, and everybody involved in these critical decisions need to take responsibility and be held accountable for what they do. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. The Securities and Exchange Commission is still investigating the district, but declined to comment today. The DA's office is also still reviewing the state audit findings.